Hello everyone, welcome back to my class. Today we will discuss about uh, another topic of ecosystem that is energy flow. So what is the main source of energy? Sun. Sun is the main source of all energy in our world. By utilizing the energy from sun or light energy, the plants are producing their own food. Hence the plants are called the producers or autotrophic organisms. So in presence of sunlight, the plants are taking water and uh, carbon dioxide from the environment and producing their own food that is the process photosynthesis. And after producing the carbohydrate type of food inside the body, again the plants are utilizing this carbohydrate type of food and uh, ox uh, oxygen produced in their body for producing energy that is the process cellular re respiration and you can see in the picture while doing that respiration plants are losing energy as the heat energy now the herbivores they are taking the stored energy from the plants while taking food and again the carnivores are taking food from the uh, herbivores or previous level of uh, consumers so these herbivores and carnivores or the consumers are utilizing these food energy for producing energy inside their body which is called cellular respiration and thus the energy stored inside the plant's body is taken by the animals and utilized by the animals during cellular respiration for producing energy and in both case the plants and the consumers both of them both of the organisms are releasing heat energy during cellular respiration so which energy they are getting uh, from the sun the plants and then the consumers they are not transferring the total energy to the next level as they are utilizing some of the energy so some heat energy is released from the plants and some from the consumers now after the death of plants and animals decomposition occurs by the decomposers and here the flow of energy stops and the decomposers releases nutrients to the environment which is again utilized by the plants so here we can see a food chain where the plants are utilizing sunlight for producing their own food then the different levels of consumers are taking the food and then after the death decomposition is occurring and again the nutrients are produced in the environment for taking by the producers so we can see a cycle of nutrition flow in the food chain so the cycle of nutrition flow is like that from the producer to the consumer again to the another level of consumer 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 and finally decomposition after that nutrition nutrients in the environment is again produced to be utilized by the producers so we can say nutrition flow is cyclic but what about the energy flow the producers are utilizing sun sunlight or light energy but not the total energy only two percent of the sunlight or light energy can be utilized by the producers then the producer is utilizing that energy and transferring only 10 percent of energy to the next level of consumer while they are releasing some energy as heat again the consumers are transferring only 10 percent energy and after decomposition the energy is released in the environment but you can say that the energy is not taken by the sun so we can say energy flow is unidirectional or linear and producers and consumers both are releasing 
energy so here 90 percent of energy is released or lost in each level and only 10 percent energy is transferred so when we place the different trophic level one by one based on their energy loss or energy transfer we get a pyramid shape structure that is called the energy pyramid and of which at the base is the producer and at the top the consumer or top consumer is uh, staying and in each level 90 percent energy is released or lost and only 10 percent energy is transferred to the next level of uh, food chain so this is called the 10 percent rule according to which uh, we can uh, define the energy pyramid so finally we can say that nutrition flow is cyclic while energy flow is unidirectional or linear so that's all for today thank you